Hello, future PMs. Welcome back to the product toolbook series. Today, we will continue with how to solve a study case study submission, part of which was covered in another video. So if you haven't watched that video, I will urge you to go check it out first. The link will be in the description. Now let's get started. Uh, so here we are at a point when we are done with the research and are moving to the implementation stage. Generally, a case study submission can either be a five to 10 slide deck or a document. And in my experience, there are six fundamental aspects that you can cover in a case study. These can be tweaked or customized according to the problem statement. So number one is the introduction. This can be thought of as a preamble to your case study, wherein you can talk about the product, your understanding of the problem statement, uh, any assumption, or maybe hint upon the overarching theme of the slides. If it's an existing product improvement question, one thing I like to do is to add the mission or the vision of the product. This helps me with prioritization and to tie back the solution uh, to the vision of the company. Next comes persona and pain points. These are one of the most crucial steps as when done right, it showcase your clarity and helps your case study flow on its own. So basically personas are profiles that represent the different user types that might use your product. Uh, photograph, demography, motivations, pain points, and the quotes are some of the things to include when describing a persona. The pain points help you come up with problems that need to be addressed specifically in an improvement case study. Make sure to give dedicated space to these aspects at, and not rush through it as jumping to solutions directly without diving deep into the problems and motivations of the users is a red flag. The rule I follow is to have three personas, three problems and three solutions. So after the problems are listed, you can either go the route of prioritizing the problem first and then just giving solutions for the prioritized problem. Or you can give solutions for each of the problem as many times a single solution can address more than one problem. To brainstorm on the solution, it helps to read a lot about different technologies and go through products routinely. Be sure to describe the solutions thoroughly to enable any first time reader be on the same page as you. For this, I would urge you to get your submissions reviewed by friends or colleagues. Next important step is to prioritize any one solution. For this uh, one can use any of the multitude of frameworks available. I generally use the effort impact or the rise framework. The values assigned are your best estimate given the knowledge and research that you have done. Next comes mockups or wireframes. These help you communicate your vision to the reviewer. It does not need to be elaborate even a hand-drawn picture might help here. We have also made a video on how to create mockups using Figma. The link is in the description, go check it out. Last, but definitely not the least, comes the metrics. These helps you uh, measure the success of the new feature or the product launched. There are multiple frameworks available for it, including the Google's Heart framework, Pirate framework, etc. Personally, I make use of the pirate framework the most as it naturally talks about the journey of the user on the platform or the product and helps me navigate through the product uh, through the user's eye. On occasion though, when not all stages are applicable, custom metrics work the best rather than force fitting any of the frameworks. So this was the video folks. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Do let us know what other topics you would like us to cover and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.